this is Phil and Trish from SkeetTalk.com, and we're going to be talking about the, I'm going to say all new because it came out this past year as of 2023, we'll be carrying over to 2024, and that is the Forefront MSP-91. That's a new addition to the Forefront MSP collection, which, again, we're familiar with the 99, we're familiar with the 107. The new addition, one of your favorite skis, is the 99cc. Kind of blew me away. Yep. (laughs) Yeah. The whole Forefront series actually really did surprise us, and I have to admit, we were kind of late to the game and following Forefront. Some of our testers have been on the skis for their personal skis. They really like it. The skis do have a following mm-hmm. on the site. Very much so. This was a chance for us to spend some time on the collection. We've got the 99s, both uh, in the CC and the regular construction um, on our collection. We also have the 107, which mm-hmm. is a tremendous off-piece ski. But the focus here is on the new 91, which actually is a little bit of a change for Forefront, and some of it is in construction. We have an Aspen Maple core here as compared to the Poplar core that's in the rest of the series. And we've got a size range that runs anywhere from a 165 up to 165, 171, 176, and 181 that we have here and also the 187. With this collection, I build this ski as kind of a narrow wide ski. We definitely have an off-piste shape to the ski with some gradual rise here at the tip, some taper in the tail, some rise out of the tail, which really makes a nice ski from mixed conditions. And I think they did a good job with it that way. And uh, you found that with the, the 99cc. What I found with the 99cc, the first chance that I had to get it out, we had a huge snowstorm here. And I took it out. 99 is between 98 and 102, 104 is about what I would ski on a powder day. Mm -hmm. And it just immediately sang to me. I I had just so much fun and it just never let me down. I found a lot of that with the 91, and this actually ski was a bit of a surprise for me. And for you watchers on the East Coast, this is a really good East Coast ski that's going to be good in a multitude of conditions. It's going to be a good one ski quiver for the East. We're in the West. We might gravitate a little bit towards that 99. And a lot of it really depends on the size of the skier. But with this one here, with this new construction, it has a little more pop uh, with that pop uh, aspen maple core then the 99s and the wider skis which are a little bit quieter and damper out there on the snow yeah that's what i found with this is it was very calming and it very much gave me confidence yeah and we've got a little more puppiness i would say in this ski here and if we're looking on that power finesse scale this one here might error a slot a little bit more on that finesse side then that power that the 99s and 107s will require of you. But they did a beautiful job here with this ski. And what I like with this, even in the 181, we've got a pretty tight 16.5 meter published turn radius on it. But I will say, quite frankly, when I skied it, it skied a little bit longer than that. I could Mm -hmm. push it into that 16.5 meter turn, but it didn't require it of me as a skier and I think a lot of it has to do with the gradual shape of that tip and I think they just did a beautiful job overall with this new addition to that established MSP line. Absolutely. Absolutely. So and I know as far as when we skied this ski in again we skied it from early on in the season Mm -hmm. all throughout the season and I was just duly happy with it got back on the ski off and on but in this range of the ski where we have a lot of the popular skis which are a little more front side oriented that delve a little bit Mm -hmm. in that wider platform that wider chassis I like this narrow wide ski here again in that mixed conditions a ski that you can take into the trees you can take into the bumps definitely by a studio piece yeah so that's where I think they did a really good job and some of it also is for what I've heard to that is a seventh 
eighth, seven to eighth uh, scale skier, that skier that might be a little bit lighter, a little more finesse side, that they don't need that width to hold them up in snow. And that's where we've got a ski here. That's a really good option for you. It makes it a really fun ski and a playful ski because in the end, Skiing, skiing is, is fun. fun. To read the full review of the ski, please go to skitalk.com and click on the review tab. Please also hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more reviews and other ski related content and add thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, follow skitalk.com on all of our social media channels. And remember, no matter how still you are, Ben Stiller. <laughs>